Hello everyone, I'm back. This is Omega and Freddie, and we're gonna do an unboxing for you of The Witch's Moon for March, 2022. And um, I'm kind of frustrated because my camera just went off and I was already through this, explained everything why I was gone. I had COVID and feeling much better. And yes, my hair is different. Uh, this started when I looked at a picture of myself and saw how black my hair was and it just didn't look right on me. So I tried to lift the box dye um, with this, this stuff called Ethisol, which was great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's a step away from bleach and it turned my hair orange and not a nice orange. So. <laughs> my friend a friend of mine who has a stylist she recommended her to me and she did a color correction um had to cut some hair off but that's okay and i had it straightened so it's poker straight um it'll fill in but uh that's that's the new look so anyways um i already opened this up i'm sorry the camera just went off I know you guys miss Freddy. Okay, let's go. Elementum Ventus. No, it's fancy writing. Freddy, stop it. As the sun continues to show more face, the earth begins to come alive. There is change and transformation carried upon the wind that caresses our spirit. A sense of new hope and redefined vision is slowly showing itself amidst the seeming chaos. The months that are to follow are a time for new growth, transformation, and inspired action. New goals and the plan to reach them begin to form and develop through our spellcrafting and intentions. We can start to feel our hearts beat just a little faster as the days become longer and our aspirations become brighter. In this very special collection, we focus on the transformative and inspiring aspects of the element of wind so that we may be bolster our ability to bring new growth and blessings into our lives and to those that surround us. Sounds very nice. I love spring and it's just around the corner. Snow is melting. We had a really great weekend and then it started snowing, like a lot of snow. Hey, Freddie. But it melted again and then now it's like 24 degrees today. But no sleet and snow, so I'm happy. So let's get going with this. Um, I started, I was really surprised because I wish you guys could have seen the element of surprise when I was shooting before the camera went dead. Um, I was thinking of, actually I was gonna say this and I don't know why it popped in my head. And I was gonna say during this unboxing, don't, ever make apologies for how you live your life. Don't um, seek other people's approval nor, you know, take gossip, you know, as gospel. You know, you do you, you do what you want to do. And as, you know, as long as your kids are fed, as long as you're, you know, you're doing what you need to do um, and you're good to yourself and you're good to others, it's your life. And amazingly, this was at the top and it says, you do not need approval. Do not wait for applause nor recoil from criticism. Of course, we must measure ourselves and learn, change and evolve, but do not drink from the poison chalice of external approval. You must give yourself that nourishment first. So profound. Uh, may the seeds of my aspirations become manifest. So motive be, isn't that beautiful? And sunflowers. I found out why I sniffle so much. Just, you know, people make fun of me sometimes cause I'm always doing one of these. Um, I have a perforated septum from overuse of um, nasal spray 
and I went to see uh, an ENT specialist and he said, I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> the first thing they asked me was, you know, how much did you do cocaine? You know, I'm like, no, it's from nasal spray. And um, they brought a team of residents and, you know, nursing students. I was like, we, you know, it was like, oh, the freak of the day for them. So everyone was in there and he looked at my nose and he said, you know, this is more than a perforation. You have no septum. So, um, he said, that's why I'm sniffling so much because it's, it's always irritated. So um, he gave me a referral to a um, um, cranial facial surgeon, like highly specialized doctor that I get to see next month and see if he can, he can fix me. So I'm like no longer sniffling all the time. I, I don't know, maybe I can blame, blame Freddie for the allergies and everything. I don't know. Flower Moon, April, Espot, and Full Moon. Sorry for the glare. This is beautiful. I love it. Celestial Influence, Elements, Zodiac, Colors, Other Moon Names, Magical Beings, Animals, Botanicals, Stones, Crystals, Magical Rituals, and Intentions. April. It's March, but it's for April. I just got this yesterday. I think it's taking longer for me. Um, I just think because of COVID and everything that the mail is slower than it used to be. Element of wind. Elementum Venus. Oh, so that's what it was. That's what this is. Elementum, looks like Ventus. Oh well, maybe it's just me. Okay. And oh, lemongrass. I love the smell of lemongrass, incense, jasmine and lemongrass. And looks like here, the muslin tea bag. And orange peel. And lemongrass, of course. Golden radiance tea. like a spray. I like this better than the oils. Hey Freddie, what you doing? You looking at critters? He likes to look at the squirrels. They taunt him. I don't think squirrel, squirrels are very dumb. I think they know Freddie and they like to taunt him. Oh, look at this. Low in the cloud. Probably smells like lemongrass, but I'm gonna smell anyway. Yeah, very lemony, I like it. Reminds me of that uh, furniture polish. What is it, Pledge? That's what it smells like. I actually like the smell of that, so. And we have our bath salts. Gust of change. Mm. Let's see what's inside it. it. Smells almost like roses. Yes, Freddie. What's in it? Lemon, white tea, chamomile oils, as well as raspberry, leaf, linden, nettle, chase berry herbs. Okay. And we have, which looks like maybe, the, I think this is lemongrass bundle. But I'll check just to make sure. Where is it? Salt, sticks, blue sage, copal and blue sage bundle. Hmm. It's called, or Grandmother Sage is a deep cleanser of the soul and of the sacred space said to bring wisdom and knowledge from other realms of existence, not visible to our eyes. Interesting. Okay. What is this? Like a tiny stone. Oh, it's really tiny. It's like 
the size of when you get Moldavite, you know, because it's so rare. It's like really in there. Freddie, help me open this. Freddie. Oh my goodness, it's like, okay, it kind of feels like Moldavite. I know it's not, but look at the shape of it. Yellow brucite stone. Powerful solar plexus stone, brucite bolsters our personal magical will so that our intentions can more easily manifest in real forms. This beautiful stone assists us in blocking out any outside energies that may work to harm or hinder our growth, allowing us to focus on our inner being and strength. Raising overall vibrations, brucite provides rays of light to our etheric body and inner being and strength. Oh no. And is considered to be one of the strongest minerals for channeling. As you work through your positive transformation over these coming months, Make Brucite your companion and aid. Okay. Well, this looks like the candle. And I want to thank you all for being so loyal and keeping your, um, for subscribing and keeping it, even though it's gone these months. And I came so close to doing just a quick, you know, informational video of, um, you know, why I was out, but every time I would get ready to do it, I would just like, I didn't know what to say. Um, yellow is a pretty yellow, like lemon yellow. And, what's in here? Oh, making a sound. A wind chime thing? Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's all tangled. Um. Okay. Is this the joke? This is like really tangled. Oh, okay, it's me. Operator error. <laughs> okay, it's like, it goes like this. Why is, okay, that's it. Oh, this, okay, this must be like a stone or something. I thought this was the top part. Oh, I wanna see what it is. Hey, Freddie, why are you over there for? Hmm? You bored? People have waited a long time to see you. Okay. So. Well, it looks like an ordinary stone. Maybe it's not. But this is tangled, but not as bad as I thought. I can hang this outside. I don't know. You guys get the gist of what this is. I'll stand back over here. So the stone is here at the bottom. Yeah, oh, maybe I can hang this outside. I'll give it away. Oh, oh, it has these other stones. Oh, look at that. Is this wood? I think it's wood but it's really shiny. And this looks like an, oh no, this is a goddess. A few goddesses, purple goddess, and some crescent moons with spirals on them. Very nice. Okay, let's get a description. Handmade goddess and crescent moon wind chime. And it's handmade, it says, 
It has been created from bamboo, reclaimed wood, and carries a river rock, that's what that rock was, at the bottom, to be guided by the wind. You will find the symbol of the goddess included within this wind chime, representing our connection with the divine feminine and the strength that resides within this purity of energy. Also, the crescent moon has been incorporated to represent new growth, hope, and influence, and the coming of change. Upon these symbols, you will find the hand-painted spiral representing our path to our higher self among many interpretations, a rich history of the wind chimes being used throughout higher cultures and civilizations. Ancient Roman wind chimes were generally made from bronze and were hung in the courtyards to ward off malevolent spirits and to guard against the evil eye. In India during the second century CE, wind chimes were hung on the corners of buildings and homes to not only bring magic, peace and harmony, but to frighten away any lurking evil spirits that may be close by. The modern, God, this is so small that I miss it. Magic of wind chimes is represented as maximizing the flow of chi or life's purest form of energy. The wind and its innumerable representations and meanings carry such significance in our ability to push through stagnant conditions so that we may find real change and positive movement in our lives. When the wind finds you, embrace and accept its strength. Allow its force to bring, bring clarity and new ideas to your creative and intellectual processes. It can be helpful to feel the wind on your face when you feel like you have a creative block or you are unable to get past old and tiresome thoughts and emotions. The physical realm, oh, the wind can also be a powerful representation of spirit as it brings invisible and elusive forces to the physical realm so that we can experience their undeniable strength. One of the more powerful qualities of the wind is found within its inescapable ability to clear out old habits, ways of thinking, and current stigmas so that new experiences and real transformation can be introduced. Before you hang this wind chime, take the time to make clear your intentions for its use. Anointing the beads with any oils you may feel necessary and instilling your energies and will upon it. We truly hope that this wind chime can be your new magical companion gently reminding you of the great power that flows to your doorstep. I like it. I like it. Here it is. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. You get this really cool wind chime. You get the Aura Spray, the Lemon Pledge Aura Spray. Hey, Freddie. Freddie. You wanna come join me? People have been waiting months to see you and you turn your tail to them. Oh well. So you get that, you get the tea, you get the lemongrass, the orange peel, the lemongrass incense, the element of wind, artwork, and the flower moon, April, Esbat, and full moon. And this sage bundle, the bath salts, your oracle card. This is really beautiful. And the brucite, I've never heard of that stone before. And it's like a sigil. This is a sigil looks like. So there you have it. Let me read a little bit about the herbs and, and uh, what they're used for. Orange peel, a wonderful embodiment of the power of the sun. Orange peel provides us with bright and refreshing energies. It is even said that the scent from the orange peel can communicate the joy of angels to human beings. beings. Orange peel carries the ability to bring new life and direction to those that may feel lost or disheartened. Orange peel has been long used in love and attraction spells and sachets. 
uh, the lemongrass herb used as a healing herb for hundreds of years. It continues to provide a wide variety of benefits throughout magical recipes and creations, aside from its medicinal uses. It can aid in promoting openness to new ideas and bring clarity to the clouded mind. It can be added to incense blends and to, or included within magical sachets. Some people say sachet. Well, there you have it. I missed you guys. And Freddy missed you too, even though he's, he's looking at some squirrels. Hey, Freddy, come on over. Say goodbye. Yes! Come up! Come up here! Come on up, Freddy. Come here. Come on up. Come on. Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna have to pick you up here. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining us and thank you for being so patient and um, subscribing to my channel. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would be very grateful, so would Freddie. And um, we'll see you next month. Bye.